Oh, hey guys, wanted to review the answers for number four and five with you. Okay, number four says Sandra started walking to school at 8.45 a.m. That means in the morning. It took her 25 minutes to get to school. What time did she get there? Okay, so I like to first underline this. 8.45 is when she started. It took her 25 minutes to get there. Try to focus this in a little bit better. What time did she get to school? Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, now they made all of these. All of them are AM. They're all nine o'clock. They're all within a few minutes of each other. So they didn't give us any easy outs here. So we have to try to figure out 25 and 845. Now I know from on the clock, if I add 15 more minutes to 45, that would get me to nine o'clock. So 15 more, 25 minus 15 more, would still leave 10 minutes left. So 25, so 15 minutes onto this 845 would get me to nine o'clock. So now I still have 10 minutes left, so I have to add that to nine o'clock. So that would leave me with 9, 10 a.m. So I believe the answer is 9, 10 a.m. Because remember, when you get to 59, 60, 60 minutes is when this actually goes to nine o'clock. So that is 15 minutes away. So 15 away from the 25 it took her, she'd get there at 9, 10. Okay, our next question on composite numbers. Let's take a look. The table below shows the shirt number of six players on a basketball team. So here's our chart. Don, Jamie, Curtis, Chan, Wendell, Kevin, and there's their numbers. Determine whether each player's shirt number is prime or composite Right, P or C on the line. Okay, so you have to know what a prime number is. A prime number is a number bigger than one that is not a product, not a product of two numbers. So that means if you multiply two numbers together, you can't get this number. So we have to go through, I'm gonna go through and label them up here. So I'm gonna look at Don. So I need to think, can I multiply two numbers bigger than one together to get 12? I can easily do that with six times 12, right? So that would make 12 would equal a composite number. Now 17, now one times 17, I can get it, but I can't use a number bigger than one. So two times Eight is 16 and nine is 18, so that doesn't work. Three doesn't go into that, four doesn't go into that, five doesn't go into that, six, seven, eight doesn't go into that, nine doesn't go, now I'm already too far, right? Because once I get to 10, nothing's gonna go into that. So 17 is a prime number. Now 22, this is where it gets a little tricky. Think about it. Isn't 11 times two, 22? The second you can multiply two numbers bigger than one together, you know it's composite, you don't even have to think about it. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time bothering you guys, but think about it, what can we multiply to get nine? How about this? What can we multiply to get 31? Well, we know six times five is 30. We know uh, two doesn't, you can't divide two into there. Three doesn't go into there, because remember we always got to go into the one here. Four doesn't go in, we'll never get into that one. Five will never get into that one because once you go into the three, six, seven, eight never goes into it, nine never goes into it. So let's make this our uh, composite number. So 31 has got to be prime. Uh, 49, I know, and you guys have to take some time to figure this out. Seven times seven is 49. So that's got to be composite. So I would come down here to my chart and just copy in. C for Don, Jamie is a P, Curtis is a C, Chan is a C, Wendell is a P, and Kevin is a C. All right, guys, hope that helped. We'll talk to you soon.